On today's episode I'm gonna show you how I made this uh, aluminum piece. Uh, it's two pieces of aluminum actually put together. This is the 7075 aluminum. It's one of the strongest and lightest aluminums you can get. Um, first we're gonna start with the biggest hole you can drill. In this case it's gonna be a 5 inch drill and we're gonna make all rough cuts right now um, I'll explain you why uh, later in this video we're gonna turn the out the ID and the surface and the OD and all the surfaces uh, we have a little recess in the middle that we're machining right now I'm running the leg at 353 RPMs right now and um, of course I did not record the whole thing just small pieces on every process um, otherwise it will take me forever a job like this took me I think 44 hours 44 46 hours to complete and we're making two pieces alike That's the reasons I was talking about. Or right, leave your comments, I will respond to everybody. See, that's pretty fast. You can go really fast on aluminum, it's not a problem. If it was still on a big piece like this, I will have to go about uh, maybe 60 70 RPM. But with aluminum, I'm just going 353 just because I want it safe you know I don't want it to jump out of the blade and hit somebody well that's the two pieces these are rough cuts like I said now it's time to work on the mill for a few hours um, I have the end mill really slow just because I want to see the chips in the beetle jump out of the all over the place but you can go over a thousand rpm with aluminum it's not a big deal that's just a I think it's a 7 8 10 mil I can't even remember so anyway that's piece one the other piece we're gonna clamp it upside down and make the cut from the other side now the other cut is not going to be as deep as the first cut I have it in fast forward just then, oh I almost crashed with this, there you go and we're almost done with this part and that's how it looks now we have to split them in two with this dual vertical band, band saw you see that and halfway done on the first piece There you go. I almost got my finger there. Now well, let's cut the second piece. And now we have the second part. See this is how it's gonna look after we bolt it together and get all the Dimensions, dimensions. We have to indicate to make sure it's pretty close. Doesn't have to be perfect because we still have to machine anyway. But I want to get it pretty close. You know, two thousands is not bad at all. Then we clean up the edges just to make sure it's perfect. 
and then we don't come with any surprises at the end like the video and subscribe so I can show you more of my videos now this is a bridge port the one that I'm using right now I'm using right now and we're getting ready to drill those holes that's a center drill because we don't want our drill to walk when we're trying to drill so that's why we use a center drill so that way it'll be perfect I'm sorry if it's all shaky I'm holding my camera with one hand and operating the machine with the other hand and now the recess for the allen head bolt see that way it's gonna be flush with the top now we have one part done and we're gonna start machining the other part and same thing drill or how or holes but this time we're gonna tap them put a little chamfer and we're gonna tap the holes now in and out four times now we're gonna put it together and we're gonna drill a pin hole so that way it will always go exactly in the same place we drill and then we rim now pins are, are installed and it's time to put it together and we can go back on the lathe see it almost looks like finished product but we need to go back and do our final cuts we gotta make it perfect now this piece is for a radar it goes on a fighter jet from the Air Force now this piece goes inside the plane some place just to hold the radar I don't even get the full details of course now piece, the front piece is done we're gonna go and work on the back side It's gonna be some kind of a clamp in the radar they won't even give me the details of course but that's what it is for Now we go back on the lay on the mill and we're gonna use a rotary table. We need to find the center of the piece. It's gotta be right on the money this time. It's gotta be perfect. We're gonna drill some I, I'm sorry, we're gonna mill some slots for those bolts. We have one, we need seven more to go. They gotta be exactly you know so many degrees okay we're done and we drill and tap some more holes on the top in and out see so use clean perfect threads that we use a little bit of a uh, 
WD-40 for lubrication and for the last thing we're gonna nail a slot for a ring it's gonna be like a o-ring for seal we go all the way around 360 degrees at uh, 1115 rpm that's the almost free finish piece the only thing we need to do is take it apart and file all the rough edges you know the sharp corners and all that we need to get rid of it that's the back that's the front and there we go and it's done so ready for those guys at the Air Force come to pick it up and they can